complain. So you can't have too much to complain. Yeah. So the key in the NBA is manipulating that gather and the takeoff and all these things. So that's how these guys become so good at what they do. Cavs turn over, and oh, I wow. think, yeah. That ball went off for Zingas. Yeah. Right. You tell me. I know. I think they missed it. Yeah, that went off towards Angus. I can see why he's mad, but, you know, just review it. You better review it before. You better review this. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. They don't have, uh, they don't have Reynolds <laughs> behind the bench, I guess. Dante Exum, seven made threes. 17 point fourth quarter. James inside. Layup on goal. Lively's in there fighting for it. And dug out on the play by Luca with a whistle. I think they're going to call a foul on Lively. What a late whistle. Or they're calling a kick. A kickball. Here's the three by Reeves. Look at this. I mean, a shooter's roll right there. Here, the missed bunny by LeBron. And they put a T on Luca for his complaint. I think he had a T last night, too, didn't he? With like 21 seconds left in the game. Jokic reverse. Oh, and he missed it. He thought he got fouled right there. The same guy that called him down on the other end. And this will be a technical. Oh, they threw Jokic out of the game. I think they're throwing Jokic out of the game. Musa Dogger making. That's incredible. Oh, my goodness. You're not throwing him out of the game, really, are you? That's the signal he gave. I mean, give him a technical if you don't like what he's saying, but don't throw him out of the game. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mark Lindsay's going to have to sort this out. Wow. That's a short-tempered, poor, poor judgment by an official. Well, apparently, Jokic called Musa Dagger a derogatory name, and he is thrown out at the 108 mark. Wow. Remaining here in the second quarter. Now, Kobe White is going to go to the free throw line. Remember, Joker just got cut out for a little push. Didn't get that. Thought he was going to get one there. He's looking at him. So there's a hand in the back and a little push, just like he was called. Same guy that called the foul. He's just saying, call the foul to him. Hasn't done anything, hasn't done anything, hasn't done anything. Then the foul on the layup, and now he's ejected. That's a poor job. I don't care what anybody says. Let's bring in Vic. Fellas, you know when the ref is in the wrong, we're in the opposing team's arena and these Bulls fans are booing the decision. All of them in unison upset with Nikola Jokic getting tossed there on Serbian Heritage Night. They came to see Joker. Well, they're going to have to get somebody else down. Has to step up. Aaron, two for seven. Michael, three for eight. Post up Green and run the splits. Pojemski slips to the rim. Green just such a great passer. Beal just picked up his third foul. And now Green runs over Nurkic, and he'll be called for the foul, and they're going to take a look at this. See Jason Goble indicating they will go to the monitor here. Nurkic is down in a heap. Green just plows right over Nurkic. And we'll see if there's anything unnecessary added to it. Ooh, oh, 
man. Well, that's going to be a flagrant. Yeah, for and sure. now they're going to just try to decide if they think it was excessive. It's going to be at least a flagrant one. Could be a two. Which would be an ejection. Well, that is a swipe across the face. I'm going to guess they're going to get him for a two on this I, one. I think you're right, Coach. I think this may be the last of Draymond Green. We'll see. Players under review for a potential flagging foul. Brian Forte with the announcement. And now we will wait and see. Draymond Green has missed eight games this year. Suspension knocked him out for five of those consecutively. But that swat right there, I mean, that's... That's pretty clear. I think Draymond may be right that he got fouled first. And had they made the call, you can see Nurkic wrapping him up. Should have been a foul call on Nurkic. Nonetheless, I think he's going to get a flagrant two and be leaving the game. So the officials go to the monitor here. Yeah, pretty clear evidence right there. They're taking a look at the same angles we are. And right away, Jason Goble indicating that they were going to go to the monitor to check on whether it was a flagrant or not. Now they're bringing over Brett Nansel also, who didn't originally look at it. He replaces Jason Goble at the uh, monitor. They want everybody's opinion on this one. Yeah. Certainly being held there by Nurkic a little bit. I don't think he did this intentionally myself, but still, the way he spun around and caught him. Stoppage of play here. 8.23 left in the third quarter. Warriors by five. And the officials trying to determine if this is... Elevated to a flagrant one or flagrant two. After video review, Green makes unnecessary and excessive contact to the face. The foul has been upgraded to a flagrant foul penalty two, and Green has been ejected from the game. There you go. When you hear excessive, that's it. Draymond Green is out. Kane Fitzgerald standing by in Secaucus. And Kane, just walk us through that because the officials on the floor are in control of that replay to determine the outcome here. Yeah, this one checks all the boxes. You have wind up, impact, and follow through above the shoulders to the face there. To that kind of open hand swing and slap to the head. And uh, clearly unnecessary and excessive. They got all the officials to look at it. All three have to agree for an ejection. And Flagrant Foul Penalty 2 is uh, adjudicated. All right, thanks, Kane. And that's. Is exactly how we saw it go down, and Nurkic with a shot to the face. Oh Looking like a swimmer. One Very day, style, Kelly. One day he'll have fun out there. <laughs> the tsunami poppy. Ooh, offensive. Beverly gets knocked to the ground and then clapping his way back to the other end. Watch it again, Joel. First pass, no. Second pass gets it to Kelly. And then watch this. He's like, yeah, it had a little bit of a cut on it. I had it. It was a spin. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Tempers flaring near the logo. Well, you can certainly understand the Pistons' frustration in all of this. Isaiah Stewart not wanting to back down at all. <laughs> the officials will look at the replay of what exactly happened there. Offensive foul on Stewart is being reviewed to see if it meets criteria for flagrant foul. Kevin Scott, not from California. No, no, he is, I want to say, from somewhere below the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be specific. Just going to take yeah. a wild guess. Yeah, I'm going to take a leap. That's a little two-man game. Ooh, ooh. 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 Yeah, that, I mean, that's either sheer frustration yeah. um, or sheer frustration. <laughs> <laughs> because well, well, which, one, which one do you think it is? I'm gonna, probably the latter. Okay. Probably the latter. Okay. After review, the 
foul on the floor has been upgraded to a flagrant foul penalty two for excessive and unnecessary contact. There was a high degree of impact, a very high degree of follow through, and a very high degree of wind up. All the components were met. There was a very high potential for injury, and therefore he's been ejected from the game. And there'll be two shots for Beverly and the ball be inbounded at the free throw line extended in the front court. Okay, well, if you had the word high on your bingo card, you are very close to blackout at this point. Yeah, right. I didn't see that coming at all. I didn't think it was worthy of an ejection. Larianoff was another red wing. Igor. Just came to my, yes. Mm. yes. Extra pass. See how they're driving all these closeouts? Cool. It's great deep by right. Dyson. Yeah. Good shot by Cool. On his way down. And he's just got a tech. Yeah. I said to you his body language wasn't good in the first half. Like he's not exactly happy camper right now, Jordan Poole. He's gone from the penthouse, not quite to the outhouse, but they're three and nineteen. That's a good finish. And, the and then is, a mean mug. The thing mug. is, he didn't say anything. Right, he gave her the mean mug. Listen, Joel. <laughs> if you if you get a technical foul for mean mugging an official, right. there would not be an NBA anymore. Me and you will be playing right now. And we got a we got a shot. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> he really isn't prepared to, to sustain really competitive minutes. Matherin got it back. Yeah, it's not a it's not an over and back. Right idea. They were gonna throw the lob, except for getting back on that other side was Portis. And they wouldn't allow Toppin to be able to get up and run. Rick Carlisle probably will make some changes here shortly. Again, the last six years, no place has been more friendly to the home team than five serve form. 78% of their games they've won. That's number one in the NBA. They're calling Toppin. Oh! Hey, they just threw Bobby Portis out of the game. They just threw him out of the game. They should have. He wouldn't back off. He and Toppin were in the middle of it. Bobby's running his mouth. And the officials were right on top of it. They just threw him out of the game. Bye. So Portis will lead with 19 points. He's been a fan favorite here in Milwaukee. His night is over. Well, he also took less, you know, he took less money. You see, these two, they, they both chirping. They're chirping, and Bobby's not going to be quiet, and you can see Toppin is not going to stop. Good call on the foul. But, but. And now wholesale substitutions for both teams. Halliburton in, Turner in, Lopez in from Milwaukee. Heald has come in. We saw so much emotion and play by the Pacers in the regular season tied to the in-season tournament. This is not a part of the in-season tournament, Quinn, but it's every bit well, as emotional. Would be. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was going to be this way. Nice defense. Really good travel. Consolation, however, if the Cavs trail this ball game 50-39. Levert drew some good offensive rebounds. Got to zip it off Brown. He missed him, however, and it's Grabbed by Porzingis. Holiday off to Brown. Brown to the basket. Hooks it up. Missed the shot. Porzingis kept it alive with all that length. And he dunks. And that's the one problem you have with him. If he has any kind of freedom, if you can't get a body on him, it's tough to stop him because he is mobile enough to make plays like that. I think the Cavaliers just got whistled for a technical foul. A technical foul has been assessed. Cleveland's number one. They did indeed. Struth. It's Max Struth. So it's poor Zingas takes the free throw. The Celtics have taken their largest lead. Max took an extra bump there from Brown. He wasn't yep. happy about that. Right into your living room he comes. Well, when you're in this building, it, 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 you dig into this double-digit deficit. Dork. Little ball fake, and he's 
going to get to the line. Got tied up there with Fox, who just picked up his fourth personal foul. And that's one way to do it. It's been an ally for the Thunder over the course of this game. 23 out of 26. So we're going to say it's on the floor. Never mind. A lot of these close plays. And that might be a technical on Darren Fox. sure why he's so hot at the moment probably goes back to the, the previous play when he didn't get the foul call as SGA knocks down the free throw to make it a 10-point game but that, that probably goes back to Thompson another rebound for Looney inside another shot for Thompson in the corner it's going kind of and a foul when Golden State was at their peak, and they can still do this as we just saw. The offensive rebound leading to a three-point shot between Curry and Thompson was the most lethal thing you could have as a defense. Yeah, because you're in scramble mode. And right here, Terrence Mann gets back, but the quick release by Clay Thompson, but the awareness of Kevon Looney to know exactly where Clay was at. And Terrence Mann picks up a tech because he's not too happy with the last call. So not a good start for the Clippers at the beginning of this game. Coming up on the end of the fiscal year, that is a tax deduction for Terrence Mann. So this is what you don't want to see, a player struggling coming into this game anyway. Clay Thompson gets some free looks out. Thompson the now already with seven. And Ty Lue says, I don't like our vibe. He's calling a timeout. Clippers are down seven to nothing. 9.46 to play in the first quarter. Tonight, they're resting him as they have done throughout the season on back to backs with Houston coming into town tomorrow. We got a whistle on foul as Lopez going to get called for the offensive foul, and he is none too pleased about it. So, for Lopez, that'll be his third foul. Bogdanovich off the mark here. He is five for 11 for the night. And Brooks has got him. Uh, that that one was brewing, wasn't there's, it? There's a tick I was talking about. So Lopez teed up there, and you'll have a free throw coming for Detroit before the Bucks get the ball back. And Moses Moody just stayed with it, but he, he did the right thing. Spring into action when Steph Curry is covered. Everybody has to be aggressive as Spencer Dinwiddie misses one, but they get the offensive rebound. And you just see the offensive rebounding of Brooklyn. Both teams, Warriors, have done a great job offensive rebounding too. And Spencer Dinwiddie's going to get a tee. And so Steph will shoot the technical free throw, but as well as the Warriors have offensive rebounded this year, Brooklyn is the reverse side of the coin. They'll do the same thing exactly. on the other end. I mean, it's... Yeah, here's Portland headed the other way off the Dallas turnover. Nearly turned over again by the Trailblazers. Their offense looks all out of kilter right now, but Kamara ends up saving the day. He drives and scores, but there's also a technical foul. Is it on Simons? Yeah, brother, totally brothers. So score the basket for Sumani Kamara. Yeah. Simons thought he got hit on the drive. Brothers, 36. Brothers thought something else. But Nico, they, they build. He gets to his sweet spot. Chris Dunn does for that nice push shot. Here's a bonus. Montecchio, Ochai reaches in and forces nice. a jump ball. Simone has been absolutely a warrior tonight against Simone's. He has been in there bat. Look at him. He's exhausted. He has been fighting so hard. Every possession he's on Sabonis, and he's able to get in there and create the tie-up. That's the kind and of thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, Ellis and Sexton double tees right there. Did he just throw something? 
somebody out. I thought he gestured like you're out of here. I thought it was a double T. Will Hardy has passed center court. Boy, it was quick. It happened quick. Right there. On that jump ball, just trying to find some position, but he got tied up. And oh, let's just play on. Yeah, Keon Ellis. Let's play on. Now 12 to 14 from three. Olenek's pass intercepted by Ellis. Comes right back to Kelly. THT puts it home with two hands. Now a 15-2 run and a 12-point night for Horton Tucker. You know, we weren't even sure if he was going to play or not because of the illness. So a technical foul on Keon Ellis. And that will give Market in a free free throw. So he's out. Yeah, second tee on Ellis. So he'll walk to the locker room and Market in drops a free throw. Well, great defensive moment right here. Jazz don't give up on the play after they turn it over. Get a nice bucket and a technical free throw out of it. And that defensive moment, of course, brought to you by Vivid for peace of mind. This morning. No rebound. Back around. Goes back to the Knicks and Randall. Grinding inside. Ball fake. Draws the contact. The foul. And the bucket. Terrence and Randall get mixed up in it. And I guess double technicals coming the way here for both Randall and Mann. So right there is where Zoo makes his mistake of not seeking out Hartenstein and putting a body on him. And then for him to go complain to the official, the assignment is body on body. And this just a lot of talk going back and forth. I don't have any issue initially with what Randall did there. I called a technical on Randall. Wow. I think he actually took his left hand and pushed Terrence Mann as he walked away from it. Well, he's, he's close to getting a second. He was here a year ago and had kind of a meltdown on the sideline. And now we'll go to the free throw line for the old fashioned three point play. Gotta come up. He's so good scoring the basketball. Gotta shoot better from the line. But I mean, his he was so good. He's had a really good second half. Yes, he has. A two way second half. And, and, and for him, he, he got it. It was block shots, it was steals. Defense on Giannis, he's, he's improving. Rocket's gonna try to force a steal here, get a trap. There you go. They get the deflection. No foul? You're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. And then you're gonna take him up. That's trash. That's trash, man. He got pushed out of bounds. That's disgusting, man. Come on, referees. Come on, dude. You guys are better than that. Now he's out. That's disgusting, because he's wrong. Then you kick him out. You missed the call. He got shoved out of bounds. I don't know what you didn't see. And Ime Udoka was just thrown out of the game. Because that's wrong. He came out on the floor, argued. Now, he has some additional words yeah, for Suyash Mento. That play is wrong. That ain't cool. That ain't it, man. And Ime Udoka, for the second time this season, has been thrown out of a game. And, and hats off to Ime for having his guys back. It only gets pushed out of bounds right in front of the referees. It says, how do you not see that? And then you tech him up. Yeah, I don't know. What do we got? Four free throws? <laughs> Three free throws? I don't know. Now, Dylan did not get a tech earlier. That was just an offensive foul, correct? So got two consecutive right, here. Right, yeah, right. With the, with the, the, the look, Dylan, the this is a big, you finally get the steal. It's hard enough to get a steal. And, he, and he's pushed out there from Middleton. Let's see here. Yeah, that left hand on Middleton clearly goes into the into the roll. He has better balance than that. This NBA athlete so clearly he's going flying. No call. Dylan's going. What? What did you not see? And then he's he's ejected. Yeah, it was the left hand. It wasn't the right hand. 
with that left hand, continuing the motion, fouling him. You can't miss calls like that, man. You, you can't miss those calls. So Ben Sullivan ta takes over again, and he's basically continuing the conversation that Bo Dylan and Ime Udoka were having with the referees. He's continuing to talk about it. And, and at this point, guys, it's spilled milk. Don't waste any more money. Could have used, miss, one, of those, used one of those misses earlier, earlier right? <laughs> much earlier by Lillard's first miss tonight. Just comes off. Get out of there by Abia. Cool. In transition, walks into the three, hits the floor, no call, and then an errant pass by Nerf. Oh, that was an ugly fall there by George Poole. Looking at the other end for the freebie. Yeah, I mean, that was Jordan Poole's very fortunate on that one. You never want to see that from a player. That was a nasty fall. Hands on the knees. We'll take a look when we come back. 5.02 to go here in the third. During that timeout. Yeah, he was upset, I guess, on that fall that he took. Well, that's just a nasty fall there. He's lucky. He didn't, he didn't turn his ankle or tweak his knee on that one. Yeah, not sure what he's angry about. It wasn't a foul it was, by a player or contact. It might have been something before that. Okay. That's what he's probably, you know, these players, they argue stuff three calls before. It's like the official's going to change it. I mean, you could obviously talk to an official about it, but not to the level of getting a technical foul. Tied for a team high. Three rolls now for Mitchell as Donovan's free throw is good. Cavs have offered an 8-0 run and have taken this 107-101 lead. Mitchell and Eason were exchanging pleasantries. There's actually a uh, Tristan. Yeah. Thompson got called for a technical on the box out. It started on the box out. That technical foul was called by umpire Danielle Scott. She's now looking over to referee Justin Van Dyne for some assistance. And here comes crew chief Pat Freyer. And it's a double technical. Yeah. Tari Eason's going to get one as well. That's fair. I agree with that. 100%. That's so a, now, good, a good call. Ime Udoka comes over and says, wait a second. Thompson and Eason were chopping at each other, getting set for that free throw. Donovan Mitchell came over and was trying to play peacemaker. And that's what Ime Udoka was hot about because Danielle Scott pointed right at Tristan Thompson. She did not appear to be rigging up Eason at first. Eventually, cooler heads prevail. He has 14 in the fourth quarter as Buddy Heald is knocked down by Tice. Laura got it back and scores. Rick Carlisle right in front of the official. Tom Washington could not believe. Hey, my technical. Uh, Rick wanted it. Rick's fighting for his team because he know he sees his team is struggling and he's fighting for him. They're right. It, it did happen right in front of the official. And Harden will shoot the technical free throw. It was the Leonard and George show until Harden took over in the fourth. Here's another look. Well, that's what they have. I mean, here's Rick after the fact, making sure that he gets into the official's ear. When this is what the Clippers have. But they all fell, 79-67. Atlanta leads it. Bogey with a pump fake. Baseline off the high glass. No, long rebound to Capella. DeJounte Murray finds Sadiq Bay. Missed the three. Rebound, Jaden Ivey. Jaden wants to take it to the rim, lays it up, lays it in. Beat everybody back. And the Pistons trim it to 10 with six and a half to play in the third. He accelerated at half court, and Atlanta saw it, and they still, George, could not get there to stop it. Whistle on the other end. Jaden Ivey on the sprint. Shorty. 
few words from Bogey to an official. Got a tech. Trey Young shoots it, sticks it. The deflection by Martin. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Two seconds left in the half. Anderson missed it, and it's an offensive foul on Kyle Anderson. Or maybe Gobert. Let's make sure who it's on. That's on Anderson. Got a technical foul on Coach Chris Finch as well. Who came out onto the floor? Zach Zarba hitting him up. He's still yelling at Zach Zarba. Well, you can really see on the replay the left arm here of Anderson holding off, hitting him in the face. But watch Chris Finch, top of your picture, comes all the way inside the three point line. And Jimmy Butler is going to get to march down here and shoot that technical foul on Coach Finch. 